Hey everybody, one of Weezer here. It is New Year's Eve, 518 in the morning, and uh, I'm having a good time here. Live stream Chapter 9, Mystic Mill. Turns out, in order to 100% complete that thing, you have to evolve Shrednot. I think there's two rooms he has access to, and then really late in the chapter, there's like a little area where you can basically like saw out the Winged Sapphire. So I'm gonna do that. We just evolved Bombshell, kind of bonus content. His quest is actually really cool too. It's at the start. I'll point it out where it is when I take you to do the quest and evolve Shrednot and then complete that chapter. But uh, that's kind of a look at his aesthetics again. He's just got such a mellow, laid-back tune here. So I'm going to pull now our now-evolved bombshell. And where is that trap? I think this is the one. This way you get to see Shrednot come on. I really enjoyed fighting this one. But uh, here it is. Shrednot. Okay, now, this is an interesting deal. You can get a good look at it here. Uh, it does have some pretty good hops for what it is. Those trolls are quite crafty. Uh, primary attack is interesting because the blade itself does damage. And I'll showcase what I mean. I'm not doing anything. It just moves on its own because it's basically a saw. You can just stand here and it'll do two damage. And eventually, it's very, very, very rare you see it, but it does do critical hits of three <laughs> when it happens. If you tap the primary attack button, you're going to see what I call, like, uh, what did I officially... In my spreadsheet, I call it the blade, which you're watching now, and then the spin, which I'm going to show you. It's really the blade spin, but it's easier to keep it short and succinct. And then the last part of the primary attack is the charge. So I'm going to do the spin now. You just tap your primary attack button. It spins around and it does 50. On the critical hit side, it would be 75. Although he spits out 84 sometimes. But I think that's because it gets confused with the charge. And the charge, basically, you hold down X, and we're going to go six instances of 84, and then you'll see there was the three on the critical, which that's very rare, but six instances of 84. And uh, the critical on that is 126. I have seen that. And then in addition to the six instances of 84, Sometimes on that final move, you'll see a 75. So I actually need to come in here and get the uh, 84 to 126 and indicate that that happens six times as you charge up. So that's kind of a lot to take in. It's kind of like a three-part attack, if you will. But again, just to showcase it to you, blade spin right there. Uh, and then, of course, if I hold it down, it starts to speed up and then it'll spin. So, despite multiple revolutions around the tractor, bulldozer, shred knot machine, it uh, just does that Your one hit of 50 to 75. So, secondary attack is way more simplistic. You probably figured it'd be like a charge or some uplifting of the blade. It's what I call the troll RPG, and here's why. That guy just jumps up. That was a critical hit, too. So, uh, the s passenger uh, just jumps up from behind and he shoots down some type of grenade or gun. 112 to 168. Uh, Shrednot is captured in Chapter 4. Seems like early on that's Phoenix Sanctuary. I think he's the first villain that you face. His quest again is in Chapter 9. And uh, I'm going to head there to save time in the video. I'm going to end this one. And uh, then basically I'll just splice the two together. And then, Shrednot's apparently super special because he's required to do certain things in Chapter 9, which I'll outline when we get there, but uh, his is right at the start of the chapter. It's just, you have to take control of the ship, and then you have to shoot the cannons, and then you get kind of to, like, the meat of the level. So, uh, I'll show you right where it's at, and then we'll do that, and we will progress through the level and showcase all the special stuff he does. So, stay tuned for that, and uh, as always, thanks for watching. I will be back in just a few seconds. Hey everybody, one of we here. It is New Year's Eve 2014, 1231, uh, the current time 529 a.m. So, uh, I am here having a good time. I live stream Chapter 9 Mystic Mill, and uh, what I do, of course, for villainography is I skip over the villain quests. 
Usually not a big deal as it turned out, Shrednaut's evolution is pretty important to the rest of the chapter. Now that said, you come in, you kind of right the ship, you get all the way to the steering wheel, then you have to come in, you do this turret sequence where you take out the cannons, and it's at this point in time I need to come in and kind of showcase you where exactly his quest is, so let's do that. We'll skip that again if you uh, did not know Bombshell's quest you get to actually by talking to Rizzo there. Uh, you can drop down. In fact, we'll just do that because uh, he needs the money. But, uh, both of the villain quests are just right here at like the start of phase three of the level, kind of the meat of the level if you will. And uh, we hop back up here. And then this door here, if I remember correctly, is where Shrednot's quest is. I'm just gonna clear this stuff out. I haven't decided how I'm going to showcase the rest of it, but... Alright. So we'll break this stuff up, get a little cash, and here we go. I guess we should switch over. So here's Shrednaut. This is what it looks like right now. Pay close attention to it. I don't know if this is going to be an involved deal. Uh, and obviously you can open that. I don't know if this is going to be like an involved deal or just he instantly does it. So let's find out. Alright! You trolls can't build anything worth a lick, but you sure know your chainsaws, don't you? She's a real beaut. And if you'll be so kind as to saw down this barricade behind me, I'd be much obliged. <coughs> so he's automatically doing that. Holy <coughs> two by fours! You cut through that wood like a hot knife through butter. Oh, which reminds me, I left a bagel in my office. I'll be getting back to that now and have a nice little reward for you too. Okay, so here comes the aesthetic change. Quest complete sure beats keys. Came, we saw. Get it? Uh This kinda has more of an undead feel to it than a tech feel in my opinion, given like the bonish look. But this is one of the first ones I could say that I don't I generally tend to like the stock ones better. I think I still do with this one, but um, no issues here. I, I like the green kind of evil looking headlights. So uh, let's come in here and they'll just kind of clear this out for us. And I, I'm trying to decide if I want to take you all the way through the level. I don't really want to, but I guess I could. Um, I'm going to showcase it all to you, but uh, let me just kind of recap it this way. So the objectives. As you can see, there's two areas missing, and it's two little doorways that only Evolve Shrednot can open. Um, coming over here, we're missing a treasure chest, which I think is in one of the doors, and we're missing the Winged Sapphire, which is actually held just by, like, the little structure you saw here that the um, guy had a saw down. Uh, it's that type of deal. The last hat was actually found in Bombshell's quest, so uh, we'll just... I guess head out here. Uh, let me switch back to Gusto. And I think if we can just progress through here fairly quickly. I know Earth is elementally bonuses. I should probably switch over to Elite Terrifin actually. This looks like a spot for my handy soldiers. I had not heard that from Shrednaut before. If you missed it, there was like a toilet flushing. <laughs> and uh, then the uh, other troll came back and said, what did I miss? And said, just a Skylander's kicking tail. So, um, I'm trying to remember, I felt like there were three things that Shrednaut could do. Um, I know the Winged Sapphire was one, but I kept thinking there were two doors. They actually come in and state it. Also. Um, I think this was a Soul Gem location. Yeah, nothing here that we need to do. Back. Yeah, I should probably get some quicker. There is a life in this zone. Okay, sky stones we don't need. Skylanders of the Earth element are stronger in this zone. Alright, let me actually switch out just because uh, stealth elf will be way quicker for us. And there is a life zone down here. Silent but deadly. This is like the glory days when I was speedrun levels in SSA. So let's let's just go all out with the Boreal Acrobatics as well. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a uh, This is a villain area, and I think right up there, that one... Oh. 
<laughs> okay. Um, I think we took care of everyone. But this little area right here by Troll Radio, you can go in there, obviously, but this one, Evolve Shrednock, can open this barrier. So, we're going to switch over, and we just press RT, or right trigger, and in we go. So let's see what we got. Okay, sawdust processing, this is one of the areas. This may not have anything, it might have just been an area to go into. Um, because we need a treasure chest. And then I know where the winged sapphire is at, it's very late in the level, so... This was just basically kind of like a little treasure room and an area, essentially, so... Let me switch back to stealth elf. And... Like I said, I do not see anything, so I believe this would just be area 18 of the 19. Are stronger in this and, like I said, nothing really to document there. Let's go ahead and eradicate these guys. It won't be much of an issue for us. Yeah, the fire element area is over that way, but we're just going to go up here and get the first key. I guess I'll just take you through the whole level, and I'll just kind of do it fast, I guess. She needs no money, she is fully upgraded. Whoops. Oh wow. I don't know how it does that. Okay, so the Winged Sapphire, I think it, there's one of the barriers, I believe, for it. Uh, so it's not too far away. Right down this way is the fire element deal. I could jump. Why can we not? There we go. So we don't need to go in there, but that's where that is. Just kind of play this all the way through for you. Um, let me go kill this cannon guy, which I don't think we'd have to do, but I'm going to. I want to see how well she can do. Okay, so, um, maybe there were three doors for him. Yeah, okay, so this is one right here by your life element gate. This is another shred knot area, so we're going to switch. Cut this out. I'm guessing the treasure chest is in here. So let's find out. Yes. All areas found, so fantastic. Let's go ahead and open this up. We'll mash that. Stealth Elf will get a little extra cash that she doesn't really need. <laughs> but all treasure chests are found, all areas are found, and I think all we're missing is the winged sapphire. But there still may actually be. Let's check. So the wing sapphire is all we missed, but I think there might be another door that he could cut. I'm not 100% sure. But again, that's your life area. Let's see. Wait, where was the other key? I guess it's in here. That's right. So, come on, get the bridge done. Now. Okay. Not a bridge, it's steps, that's right. Can't go down there. I, I tried an awful lot in the stream to get down there. So that's our key up that way. This is pretty simple, that will damage you. <laughs> I like these guys. Alright, so now that will basically uh, take care of that and let us go up here. Pretty simple one. Uh, Troll one again, obviously has experience here. It's kind of like leaving those guys. I think it's actually probably quicker for me just to do this as I am. All right. So, hey, yada yada. Now I've got some enemies. I think we have to kill. Big deal. The wing sapphire is pretty near the end, but I think there is another area. So this is air element, but hey. You know, I guess we should just go air element. Um, let's see here. Let's go... Blades, I suppose, will work. He's a low level Blades, but we'll see what we can't do. Might be dangerous, he's not, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so this is where you have to kill the... Uh, Alright, 
so that worked well. Um, the Traptanium is a bonus area. Yeah, that's true. So the Meibu guys are gonna have to open this up. Um, and then I think the Winged Sapphire is right around that corner. We'll deal with these guys, the reinforcement Meibu people are coming. Eventually. This is reminiscent of Blade's legendary story, is it not? It's in the comic books if you haven't seen them. Oh, I nearly attacked them. <laughs> they will, I have researched it in the stream, those Meibu guys will actually eventually kill the enemies. It's not the most efficient thing you'll ever see, uh, but they do actually accomplish them. So they aren't worthless, uh, as in past games, but I think we can progress now. No, we gotta beat, I think, another round of enemies. Uh, if they would kill that would be great. So it glitched is I think it just we might have gone too fast. And uh last time I was kinda like lagging behind letting those guys do their thing. Can I jump up there? I don't know, maybe I can. Okay, well my bad. Um this is the one that I think he might be able to oh, I guess that is the wing of sapphire. So let's go ahead and do that. And I trigger that. There's our wing sapphire. All right, so that's our wing sapphire. That's wing sapphire number eleven, uh, at least the way we're playing the game. Uh, Two percent discount on upgrades. Thank you kindly. Oh wow. Um, and we are technically, you know, I don't know if I have to complete the level or not to actually. I guess we have to kill these. Uh, I, I honestly don't know. I know when I play um, the villain quest you can just leave, but I think the Winged Sapphire might actually require us to complete this thing. Which I didn't really plan to do. But, uh, I guess we can. I mean, I'll I'll tell you what. I'll put these guys in so you get like the bonus damage. Okay, so they're not the most ideal suited for this. Okay. Anyway, uh, right over there is another area you can go, and then up here is our battle. So we'll let these guys go. I'll just use to make this kind of like a different video. I'll let Shred not go as often as I can, and I'll switch back to it. Uh, it would go way faster with the Skylight, particularly a Trap Master. We'll just kind of let them do their thing. I won't even try to dodge stuff. We'll just play it like they play us, <laughs> and uh, go to town. They're doing okay. I mean, for me not really using strategy. Um, I guess I could do a little something. Okay, so there's Krankenstein. He will probably finish their timer very quickly. It's nice to have the biggest thing is just they're stationary when you spin. Uh, we're about to time out here. Let's get some hits on Krankenstein. Can we take out the cannon? Got a hit on it at least. So, let's just eradicate these guys. Okay, we've got the can. Let's grab this XP before we lose it. Kind of know what Krankenstein does now. The main thing is just to dodge when he swings like that. He does get pretty good reach on it, so keep that in mind. But let's let Evolve Shrednot finish this off. I don't know. They did it. They did it. They pulled it off. So, there we go. You got a little bonus footage that way. Uh, we're, we'll deal with him later. Alright, so this way for sure it saved the Winged Sapphire for us. And we three started. So there's Shrednot getting the glory. I let Chomp Chest do it last time. That's a good look at the aesthetics there. But let's skip that jazz. Yeah, so they said they're awesome. And they got us three stars here, so that's awesome. Alright, let's continue on. We ranked up. Fantastic. Yeah, I'll probably gonna go to bed after this one. I think this video may be shorter than bombshells, though. 
interestingly. Alright, we'll deal with that thing later. I'm gonna rock it this direction. We're gonna switch out. And again, this is a good look at Shrednaught, right? I'll come back up here so you can kind of see it a little bit better. But, I don't, I mean, it, to me, the only thing I don't like about it is this looks more undead and this is a tech element villain. But, uh, it's not horrible. The trolls look like they're having a great time. So, that's, I mean, it, I think I still prefer stock, but this is one of the least objectionable ones. So, uh, primary attack. Let me get to my spreadsheet here. Uh, the, it was the blade, the spin, and the charge. We were doing two to three on the blade. And it looks like we're going to still do two to three on the blade. So I think it's pretty much just like some generic across the board type deal. So I'll go ahead and type that in, comma. And then we have the spin, which again looks like this. You just tap primary. Goes around, we're doing 50 to 75. He's doing 66 now, so critical should be 99. However, sometimes they... Is that 110? Okay, that must be something. 99, so we know that the spin, singular spin, is 66 to 99. And then the charge attack, which again, to showcase that to you, we're going to hold it down, blade speeds up, and we spin around. So, let's see. 110 to 165 with a 66. So, 110 to... 165 and I believe that is six times as well I'll double check and then it's with the 66 to 99 on the final swing all right so let's make sure we got our six on the charge we did get six and then if you spin around you get the 66 to the 99 so secondary attack is what I call troll RPG uh, troll number two there in the back it could be number one I don't know but uh, the guy in the back uh, pops up and he shoots like a little RPG type thing wow that's up to 146 so let's see here I think it was 112 168 stock uh, so 146 that would be 73 219. So that's what I was just coming up with. So 146 to 219 on the Troll RPG. Again, that is up from 112 to 168. Uh, this is Shred Knot. It was fought early on in Chapter 4, Phoenix Sanctuary. And then, of course, the quest right there, kind of like at the start of Phase 3 of Chapter 9, Mystic Mill. So this was the villainography for Shred Knot, a tech villain. Very humorous, in my opinion. Troll 1 and Troll 2 have some nice dialogue in the game. But uh, once again, Capture him in Phoenix Sanctuary Chapter 4. Quest uh, is Chapter 9. Something really interesting, though, uh, again, as I mentioned, is that you actually need Evolved Shrednaught to open up, I guess, like two special areas, uh, one of which had the last treasure chest. And then, of course, you have an area where you come in and you actually get access to the Winged Sapphire in that chapter. So, uh, that's the first time I have seen that. You know, usually you have an area they might be helpful, but this is literally calls for Evolve Shrednaught. Not Standard Shrednaught, not another troll, not someone with a blade, but Evolve Shrednaught specifically. So, pretty cool stuff, but uh, I'm going to end this here, get these videos editing and uploading. And uh, again, uh, hopefully everyone has a great New Year's Eve. I will probably be doing this to kick off 2014 as well. Uh, speaking of that, if that is the case, uh, you want to follow me on Twitch. I am live streaming Skylanders Trap Team on Twitch. It's not a game many people live stream, but I do. If you're involved, you can get in on the chat, kind of throw some ideas and chat with everybody else. So be sure to check that out. You can also follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. My personal site is oneofweasom.com. If you come in and take that link at the top of the video description box, you'll be taken to my villainography post. I don't do all the videos because it like bogs down, makes it hard to load. So what I do in that case, I provide a link to the video, and I also provide a link to the Skylander Club form. Something that you will see, however, is the attack damage numbers. And you can come in, and if you take the link to the Skylander Club form, you'll have the video and the actual attack damage damage numbers just kind of whatever you prefer but so uh, like I said in addition to what I showcase you here I take that same information and I literally put it in on a spreadsheet and then I feature that on my site and the Skylander Club forum so uh, 
Take that for what you will. If you see the spreadsheets and you prefer that method, and then you're like, wait, what is he talking about? What is this 2 to 3, 50 to 75, uh, 84 crud he's mentioning? If you watch the videos, you will know exactly what it is. And, uh, what is that little bubble there? It's like some little glowing, I don't know. Uh, must be tied in with like the uh, level up box I'll open up here in a little bit. So, uh, as always, though, thanks so much for watching. Again, Villainography, if you enjoy it, check out the other villains I've done. I've got the playlist set up. You can find the complete list on my personal site, and you can also find them one by one, chronologically ordered. Not, well, no, just posted on the Skylander Club forum. So enjoy that. I hope it helps you out. And uh, for myself and Evolve Shrednot, we will catch you back here next time.